In a world where AI is increasingly becoming more powerful and exciting than ever, we're constantly understanding the impact of this technology in pretty much all areas of our lives. And healthcare is no exception. Are we witnessing the dawn of a new era in healthcare? Or are we on the brink of a technological revolution that could forever dehumanize medicine? In today's video, we'll explore some of the main questions that have emerged on AI and healthcare. So you might be wondering if AI is going to be able to predict and prevent diseases. Well, AI is already doing it, at least in the early stages. For the past couple of months, numerous research programs have developed AI systems capable of detecting and analyzing data to accurately predict a vast range of health conditions, from cardiovascular health risks to eye diseases. For example, Researchers at Edith Cowan University developed a software capable of rapidly analyzing bone density scans to detect abnormal aortic calcification, also known as AAC, a determining factor of multiple cardiovascular and other health problems. The software processed images at an incredible pace of 60,000 images in a single day, while highly trained expert readers take around 5 to 15 minutes per image. Saving time in healthcare means saving more lives and also allowing people at risk to make the necessary changes far earlier to put them in a better position to be healthier in the future. However, there are challenges such as data quality, overdiagnosis, or algorithm biases that need to be addressed to implement this technology effectively. And while an 80% accuracy rate from the Edith Cowan University researchers might still sound far from perfect, since this is only their pilot test, it's more than promising. How personalized can medicine become thanks to AI? AI can analyze a patient's genetic makeup to tailor treatment plans and drug regimens for maximum effectiveness. By considering individual patient data, it can choose the most appropriate treatment plan just for them. Just imagine an AI-powered app reminding you to take your medications, monitoring your adherence, and providing educational content. It could definitely improve your compliance with treatment regimens, right? After all, we already have multiple health monitoring gadgets and smartwatches in which AI can analyze data to track vital signs and detect anomalies, alerting users to healthcare providers for potential health issues. There are numerous cases of people crediting their smartwatch for saving their lives by timely reporting health and cardiac abnormalities. But this personalization isn't limited to gadgets or reminder apps. It can also be applied to telemedication and mental health, or at least it's been attempted. AI-powered chatbots and virtual assistants can provide healthcare information and triage patient symptoms without the need to go to a hospital. Also, remote patient monitoring with AI can help doctors track patients' conditions in real time. However, it's important to highlight that there are many challenges, such as the lack of human interaction, the limited physical examination, and even ethical concerns regarding sensitive decisions that may affect the patient's lives. Sometimes, Many symptoms of a wide range of conditions include nonverbal cues that human doctors are trained to identify, and that, at least for now, cannot be interpreted by a machine. AI chatbots have also been tested as virtual therapists providing mental health support for conditions like anxiety and depression. However, AI is still vulnerable to biases and harmful data feeding, which could result in misdiagnosis and wrongful interactions that can put users' health and safety at risk. Such was the case of TESA, the National Eating Disorder Association's chatbot, which had to be put down in May of 2023 because of harmful eating tips it was delivering on its body positivity program. The chatbot was recommending a calorie deficit of 500 to 1,000 calories a day and weekly weight measuring. I mean, that doesn't sound like body positivity to me. The organization's public response was that evidently, the AI may have given information that was harmful and unrelated to the program, so they immediately took down the chatbot to run some investigations. This specific case ignited the spark on the ethics of replacing human interactions with AIs. What do you think? Share your take on this debate in the comment section below. How can AI help in drug discovery? AI has the potential to transform drug discovery by making it more efficient, cost-effective, and data-driven. Recently, Merck, 
a leading science and technology company announced two new strategic discovery collaborations with Benevolent AI from London, UK and Accentia from Oxford, UK, aimed at harnessing the power of AI to advance their research and efforts in key therapeutic areas of oncology, neurology, and immunology. It is known that AI can simulate drug interactions by identifying potential drug candidates and predicting their efficacy while analyzing vast data sets to uncover new insights into disease mechanisms. I know the more complex these processes sound, the more we feel that AI is and will be smarter than humans. And this idea generally sounds a bit terrifying. But why can't it be exciting? For example, until 2021, scientists failed to predict the 3D structures of proteins based on their amino acid sequences. When researchers fed all the available data into machine learning systems, there was a leapfrog in science, like an explosion in knowledge. All of a sudden, science has been able to predict nearly every 3D structure of more than 200 million proteins known. AlphaFold, the AI responsible for this achievement, produced in days what could have taken years for most specialized scientists. I know this sounds exciting, and while science is aware of this enormous potential, there is still plenty of road to cover for it to do it properly. Some of the major challenges scientists face in this specific case, including dependency and, once again, biases of existing data and the complexity of biological systems. Drug discovery involves complex biological systems with many variables and interactions, some of which we haven't been able to discover yet. AI models may oversimplify these complexities, leading to inaccurate predictions or missed opportunities for innovative drug development. You see, since AI models rely on historical data for training, this means they may be biased towards existing drugs and treatment approaches, limiting the ability to discover entirely new classes of drugs or treatment methods. Also, this data can contain an overrepresentation of certain chemical structures or demographics, which can lead to biased predictions and results. Now, are you starting to see a pattern here on this bias issue? Well, it's because it's one of the biggest challenges AI faces for being completely implemented in healthcare and it's also a delicate one. Biases in data can lead to unfair, inaccurate, or biased outcomes, which can have serious consequences in patients' health. In an ideal world, every culture, demographic, or group of people can be equally represented in terms of data. However, since an equal existence of every different demographic on this planet seems impossible, this ideal world perspective seems further and further each time. Biases in data can reinforce health disparities by perpetuating inaccurate stereotypes or underrepresenting certain populations. This would not only mean inaccurate predictions, misdiagnosis, or wrongful treatment recommendations for specific patient groups, but it could also meet ethical concerns when it comes to decision making. For example, leading to unequal quality and access to healthcare resulting in possible discrimination lawsuits. Fortunately, science is working heavily on this matter by collecting diverse and representative data sets that accurately reflect the population that's being served. This means including data from underrepresented groups, ethnicities, genders, and socioeconomic backgrounds. Also, they're implementing better data pre-processing methods and building more transparent and fair algorithms that can explain how they make decisions so patients and healthcare providers can understand their reasoning. Also, they're actively working on building more diverse teams of researchers, programmers, healthcare professionals, and data scientists to work on these AI projects. By including these diverse perspectives, they can identify and address biases more effectively. The potential of AI in healthcare is huge and continues to expand as technology advances. I guess we must wait to see what the future holds. For now, we can rest assured that scientists and healthcare professionals are working together on making this technology as reliable, as useful for humankind as possible. What are your thoughts? Would you like to see AI take a more essential role in healthcare and medicine? Let us know in the comments down below. If you liked this video, don't forget to click the thumbs up and hit the subscribe for more science videos. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.